Hi, this is Tina Hughes from HowToPaintOnSilk.com. Today I wanted to show you how you can uh, create a heart. You can do it on paper with pen and scissors and then you can use that as a template to either pin to your silk or to put underneath your silk, uh, attach it with sticky tape, whatever, so that you'll be able to see the outline and then use your gouter or your, your silk. And this is what I've done in the past and I thought it might work for you. Now when I think of a heart shape, it's you can break it down into different elements and I like to think of it as a triangle with two uh, semicircles. So let me show you what I mean by that. I'm going to find some shapes and I'm using a program right now called Image Well for the Macintosh. Now you can use any drawing program whatsoever, that's entirely up to you. Now of course um, I actually have a heart shape here that I can drag out, that'll give us something to uh, look at, but at the same time um, if you don't have a heart shape you can use uh, other symbols. So say I grab something like this one for the moment and then I can um, adjust it and then I might want to turn it upside down now in this particular program that I'm using and you do not need to use this one uh, you can even draw this on paper I can just grab the corners I can resize it to whatever I like so I can make it longer I can make it wider just whatever I feel like okay so we'll start with that and then I'm going to grab some um, circles or ovals or semicircles and I'm going to resize those into circle shapes now what I'm looking for is a size that will fit half of this. So if I stretch that out and then I'm going to copy it and paste it and create another one and so then it's looking closer to what I want. So then I, for example, I might fill this in with colour. So if I click on my colour icon which is a bit further down the screen, I'm going to fill it with red and then I'm going to put no border and then I'm going to fill these with red, get rid of the border, fill this with red and get rid of the border. Okay, so it's a little bit curvy on the top here, but that's okay. Uh, you can actually stretch this out a bit further if you wanted to, if you're using a drawing program. But then you'll notice too that when I do that to make it wider than the curves, then I get these little sharp bits. But you know what? you're going to be doing this with a pair of scissors and paper and you can use the circles could be done with the bottom of a glass that could be uh, any round object that you have so as you can see here I'm just resizing these and uh, I'm not ever going to be able to get that perfect on the sides because one has curved sides and one has straight sides but you can see what I'm doing here I'm just uh, realigning where the circles are and then making the circles bigger pulling them in doing whatever you like so this is how deep you want it at the top here and how pointy you can make this even pointier and drag it down at the bottom so play around with it and get it just how you like it this one over here which is actually a heart shape is part of this program so that made it very easy Okay, so that's my really simple, easiest way to create a heart for Valentine's Day or anything like that. And then you can use this heart shape for your silk painting projects. Okay, that's it from me for today. This is Tina Hughes saying cheerio from howtopaintonsilk.com.